statement on the game, and then we'll see if there are any questions from members of the media. <clears throat> um, I want to congratulate uh, Jason Berglund and the Bethune Cooking staff uh, for their wins. You know, I, I knew, you know, we knew coming in that, uh, you know, they were going to be a very tough opponent. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they play a, a aggressive style and, and uh, you know, a lot of gamers on that team are shortstop and heck of a player. Uh, freshman catcher does a nice job. Um, and I thought Zuniga threw a good game today. I mean, he, uh, you know, made it uh, strike zone. Um, you know, he's got some movement on his on his pitches, and he did a nice job. Um, you know, I think our guys did a great job of fighting their way back into the game <clears throat> after a slow start and get behind. Um, and, uh, you know, never giving up and, um, you know, putting ourselves in a position to, to be successful late in the game. Um, you know, it's a game of inches and, you know, a ball here or there that, that falls in or whatnot. It's a, it could be a different outcome, but, um, you know, I think probably the way our guys perform, um, you know, all year long. But especially today, I think that says a lot about our, our team and what this team is made of. The Zoom Cookman is a team that got shut out in the nine innings yesterday and then right off the bat, they hit a leadoff homer against you guys. Uh, what were your thoughts on that? Did they jump off one nothing right away? Well, I, I was hoping that that would be the only run they'd hit, hit on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, it, it's not a, you know, I, I, we watched them last night and, you know, they, they, uh, they were right in that game and had, you know, uh, first and second and eighth inning there, um, you know, with, uh, with no outs and, you know, I knew that they would they'd be fired up, ready to play today, you know, no question about it and, you know, them getting off to a good start, you know, they, that, that was great for them. Kevin, Kevin bounced right back though. You know, gave us uh, threw up I think three zeros in a row before they got a couple more runs off him. So I think he, he responded to that pretty well. Yeah, Kevin bounced back, but then uh, one inning had those two errors. Mm -hmm. uh, both runs that came in were unearned. Uh, just a little bit. Of yeah, I mean the, the first error is that's a tough error. I mean, yeah. you know, our, our, our third baseman who's, who's Dave Randy Cook and does a great job. I mean, he's, he's basically taking a, a one hop shot off his chest. <laughs> um, so. Second error, you know, we talked about making aggressive mistakes. We made an aggressive mistake. Um, you know, Gus coming in on the ball hard um, and, uh, you know, just got under his glove. And, you know, that's, we, we try to really focus on, you know, not, not the error itself, but how we react to it, you know. And I think, uh, you know, they, they got a couple runs out of that, but I think we settled in and, and reacted appropriately from it and, you know, had, had to move on from that inning. Nothing you can do about it after it happens. Overall, how would you assess the season? You know, someone asked you, Years from now, the 2014 Columbia baseball team. Uh, what would you say? What would you say? Uh, best team in history of Columbia, with 29 wins. Um, you know, that's that's more wins than anybody else has ever had at, at the college. Um, you know, and I, I said that to the guys after the game, and I said that to last year's team because last year's team won 28 games. Um, you know, and that's something that these guys, you know, yeah, we're we're, we're down and not feeling good about it right now. Um, but you know, when the, when they get to reflect on the journey that got him here, um, you know, it's all positive, you know, and I, I, I'm very proud of each and every one of them, and, and you know, it's gonna, we got some big holes to fill with the guys that graduated, you know, Mike Fisher is, is the best catcher I've ever had, um, uh, fortunate to work with behind the dish, Aaron Silbar, the best defensive shortstop I've ever had uh, in the program, um, Joey Danino, Dave Spear, and Zach Tax, the three guys that have, that have been huge for our program since they got here. So we got uh, we got some big shoes to fill as we move forward. Delino got four grounders in a row when he came in, and it was like the old Delino almost. And then was it was it was it mental or the top of the order which gave him a little trouble? Or? No, I, I mean Joe. Joe's competing, um, you know, his butt off. You know, um, sometimes he might compete too hard. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, he gave us what we got. I mean, Got went went to tax, um, you know, in that situation the next inning, and, and we had predetermined that regardless of the score uh, at that time. You know, it wasn't a move that we scored for and we're going to. I mean, we, they knew it too before the game. Excuse me. Did they know it before the no, game? No, no, we don't do that. Um, I'm just talking about predetermined before the end, before we scored the runs. Um, but yeah, Joe's been a guy for us, you know, all, all year long, um, and uh, you know, it's a uh, you know situation. Double that noble hit off him. Um, you know, it's a fastball. You, you got him swing over the curveball early in the count, and you know you give give noble the credit for for getting a big hit in a big situation there. Um, you know that that, that definitely uh, you know 
looms large as, as you look at the final score. Anything else for Coach Beretti? 